day getting ready to head out uh, after watching all the new names that are coming up for candidacy for president of the United States I said to my wife why don't I run for president you know and why wouldn't I run for president on the common sense party the common sense party not representation of any type of segregating party you know Democrats Republicans why do we have and one individual that's speaking out for the people in reference to people everywhere. You can have a mutual belief, you have common sense, you have the common sense, somebody speaking out for the loss of income for our farmers, our seniors, people that are paying old working. Because if you look at the people that get elected on the average, oftentimes they're attorneys. Well, attorneys do a wonderful job of what they do, but it always seems like somebody has to be a detriment when they get voted in. Or you would look at somebody that has to, that the basis of election is in reference to money raised. Why isn't it in reference to the number of people that are helped or the number of people that you want to help rather than cash, dollars, and cents, money? Why is it always based on money? Why is it not based on common sense and success or a working person? Why can't a working person run for office? Because just to apply, they have such an absorbent dollar amount just to apply to for an application to run for president. It's not right. So I think I should run for president on the common sense party. I'm not going to raise multi millions of dollars and waste them on marketing advertising. I'm going to use the free source of marketing advertising. Uh, I'm going to look at the, the issues of people. I'm going to work with people. And I'm going to get into Congress and say, hey, you guys knock it off. Think outside the box and work for people. Believe in people, help people, instead of going, I'm going to spend multi-millions of dollars on something that's never going to cause the people that need the money. It's not going to create jobs for them, but it's good in theory and it's good in talk. It's good at making division and making anger. None of it has anything to do with common sense. So that this is Cooper. I'm going to run for president. I'm going to get Twitter to vote for me. I'm going to get Facebook to vote for me. I'd love to be the first written in president that didn't spend countless millions of dollars wasted on nonsense TV where you say bad things about this person, bad things about that person. No, everybody's got something that they've done wrong in life and they've made mistakes. That's called life. You make mistakes, you build from it, you apologize for it, and you move on. You, and I'm not talking about all the, just positive people looking to do positive things. And I think 90% of the population of the United States wants to do positive things, but they get caught up in what media tells them. So this is Cooper. I'm running for president. I'm not applying. I'm just going to see if I can get written in or pick up some momentum along the way. And I'm going to just listen to the people. I'm Cooper for president, and I approve this message.